Deep Embrace is a strange one. It's like having a stray dog where you reach out and you go to feed it. The stray dog can be quite scared of receiving something and so the stray dog runs away and does not accept the gift, the offering, so to speak. But if you locked the dog into a cage, the dog would soon know what it really truly wants, that it wants freedom. And then when the cage is slightly open, the doorway, the stray dog would run out because it has that time to think. It does not want to be kept in a cage, does not want to be treated in that way, does not want to lose the ability to roam freely or to eat what it wants or to be where it wants to be. Your planet is going through change and many of you have heard this message before to some degree. But we are aware each time the message is heard by others and even by the same individuals who feels different to some degree. There is change on your planet and we have said this before, there has been many individuals sent upon your planet to help you to move forward and through this. Your planet was created so that the humans would have freedom on your planet, but also would learn the lessons. You have a default button in the human race that the humans sometimes think that you have to suffer for you to learn. This is backwards thinking as we do not do that here where we are. We value lessons. We are more of a peaceful race, but yourselves it almost needs to have to have govern governments and to be governed. You have hierarchies. You judge yourselves. Well, your feelings and your emotions, which you have been implanted with, we are aware of how your body communicates, how your body is made. You're going for another transitional period with the human race. There are parts of your brain that was developed at certain times. So yes, it created the fear to run away. And also the bravery to stand forth and to stand up. We're also aware through your wars that it has created those heroes or individuals who then found their bravery and have found their strength. This is also like this. There has been many others that have come to us and asked us a question, will there be wars? You're at battle, you're at a war now with individuals who do not think and feel the same way as you. There are many of you that are making great changes to your life. Having your senses, being aware of your emotions, knowing how you feel helps you actually to move forward. It's like as a child being squeezed too tight by an auntie or by a grandma and not liking it. Would you stay there to be suffocated or would you run away or force yourself out of the situation? We feel that this is a time on your planet for many of you to grow. Your souls need to know and to value what it is that you truly want. This is the period of the lull. It will take another year or so to move out of this, but it's in this time, in this process of moving out of it is to tune into what it is that you as an individual want. Do not be mistaken and think you are just individual and you are going to be only the one and we are not directing this to this individual person. Whoever hears this message, you are not the only one that feels the same way. But it's the gathering of the voices and the gathering of the energy that needs to be put out there. But if you come from a place of fear and anxiety, you then vibrate at a different speed. It's like a bouncy ball that bounces and ricochets off the walls that will not be tolerated. What we mean is to say, if you come from a fear of anxiety, it is difficult then to embrace others and to help each other. If you come from a place of where there is disruption and you then investigate more and you do the work on yourself, you come together like a link, like a chain. There will be great disruption on your planet. Yes, we see this. 
it is not to fear. It will bring you together. If you look at wars, when buildings have been demolished and people are looking and searching for survivors, people come together. This is what this period of time is meant for, is for you all to come together. There will be more enforcements to some degree. And we can see that coming, stepping forward. Individuals will feel uncomfortable and frustrated. And it's through that human instinct, that human sense that makes you want to make the change. This is not a time to sit there, to be paralyzed with fear. This is the time to see how you're feeling and what change that you can make as an individual. You're not an individual on your own. There are many that feel the same way. This is the year to know who you are, to work upon your strengths so that you can prepare yourself to move forward. This is like the work before you go into battle to some degree, even though you are in the middle of the battle. It's recruiting the soldiers that are needed to move forward and the voices to be heard. You have main structures that will be changing on your planet. Many of you will be unaware of this. But those who are aware of this, it's time for you to look at what it is that you need for you in your life. There is great change. There is still a year or so to go, but this is the year that you start preparing yourself to flex your muscles, to gather your armour, to know who you are. Your armour, you've heard before from us, is your intuition, your psychic abilities, so that then you know how to move forward in a direction. We do not want you to enter onto a desert or in the desert without a compass or a map. The compass is your intuition. We are here to give you this information so that you may guide yourself. We've seen everyone's outcast, outcome forecast. Yes, forecast. We are here just to help you to prepare. As we were summoned and asked to step forward. You are never alone. We are always here to guide. A number of people and uh, yes and myself actually a number of people have said that they have felt Christmas Day or over a couple of days have they feeling a little bit low in themselves um, wondering what you can do what was going on why was we feeling this and also what can we do to help ourselves and to raise the vibration on the planet okay a, a lot of what they've been saying about the self-care is about also raising that frequency on the planet uh, when you have that self-care, as in knowing about sleep, what you're eating, rest, you know, intermingling with those who are like-minded, not being around somebody that, you know, thinks totally opposite from yourself and you're constantly battling with them. Those are the self-care. Those are the things that you can do. So it's about the rest. It's about eating the, the right food that you feel is right for you, whatever it is, and feeling into your body how you feel after you've eaten that product as well you know, getting enough sleep, drinking enough fluids, whatever it is, and looking at what you can do um, to your environment around you. So the self-care is all, all about, yes, you individually, but you individually, you send out an energy frequency around you, your energy field that will lift others around you. So, if, you know, I don't know if you're aware that if you go into a room and you, know, you pick up, there's a vibe in the room, someone's had an argument, or even those around you, you know, how you interact with those individuals around you or how they interact with you. It's about consciously being aware of how you feel with them in your presence or those individuals. Now, more and more empaths and intuitives and psychics are going to be feeling this sensitivity on the planet. We're meant to be having that sensitivity on the planet. It's going to be really awakening individuals to their own intuition, their empathic side of themselves. So having that on this planet right now is sort of sweeping as a wave. I'm looking at this map sweeping as a wave right across the planet right now and it's about our senses sort of waking us up something's going on how are we feeling why are we feeling this way without this wave of emotion on this planet right now you know we we feel like we're non-existent we you know we're not human in a sense we need to have that feeling and then when you're coming together and meeting up with friends or those 
you know, like-minded people that think very similar to yourself that raises your energy, your frequency. And at the moment, that is what this has got to be on this planet. Coming together with those individuals that are interested in this, that are interested in how they're feeling, they're interested that there is this wave of energy that's sweeping across the planet. They're, they're interested in the fact there are light beings that are trying to help us. They're interested in the energy work. They're interested in our energy fields. Um, we're going to get a lot more of this going on on the planet. So having that over the Christmas period, um, a few days here and there, there was this massive way. And of course, you know, there, some of us who have lost loved ones, you know, are going to feel that even more, those certain, you know, celebratory periods, you know, birthdays and Christmases or whatever it is, whatever festival we're having or a family gathering, you're going to feel that too. And not having them physically there, some people are going to feel that loss greatly. But again, I think they just said, but by talking about the individuals that you physically don't have in your space, but energetically talking about how much you loved and cared for them and what they would be saying right now if they were here, that lifts the energy frequency. Okay, thank you. They just said also, you've got to look at how you're determining how to live your life as an individual. So it is as in what have they said this before they said, but as in what you are feeding your body what the chemicals you're putting into your body not everyone can pay to go organic or free range i understand that but what it is you're putting into your body i can think of it just said if you look at the christmas period most people have stuffed themselves silly they've gone to the supermarkets they've bought all the chocolate or they bought all the sweets or they bought all the treats and they're just filling their bodies up with this thinking oh because it's christmas i'm gonna stuff myself and they end up with a food hangover or they're just not feel they're feeling below par Again, if you that's the, just the Christmas period. But if you then go back into your normality, your normal life, if you're still doing this, you're going to feel below par. So it's going to be about us taking this opportunity to look at our own immune system, our body, our health, um, our health of our soul, our consciousness, they just said, just to look at what we can do individually. So that when all of us start coming together more and more, meeting those like-minded people, we're like beacons around the planet. On the map, I'm looking, they'll be like beacons of light. So the more that we talk about energy stuff, the more that you're aware of that intuition, that psychic, the empathic part of you, you're lifting already that frequency up. And later I'm going to do a meditation where we look at the, the light that we bring through and how we connect to individuals. That it's not just about the group here, it's about everybody out there, how we can send the love vibration out. Yes, it's about self-care of ourselves, but also that we can send a love vibration out to the world, to those who need it, that maybe are unaware of this. So that's a brilliant question. It's about gathering now, about bringing each an individual together, creating those tribes that build around the whole world your community of listening to people and communicating and talking about this because remember words have frequencies the more that you communicate the more that you talk to individuals about this stuff that you feel comfortable with you're already raising the frequency on the planet and that's what we need right now is individuals to do their part to talk to people to raise that frequency how whatever you think or feel it's important it's when we don't communicate it's when our voice is shut down or we feel not being heard that's when there's an issue so it's about raising our voice at the moment and communicating with others very important if you think of um okay they've given me the history of the planet and different parts of the world where there's been wars there's been you couldn't talk about certain things and that's not what we want right now it's more about our voice being heard of our opinions how we're feeling that's got to be very important to get our opinions out there our thoughts our feelings about things really really important because you know i'm talking to you guys as a group right now and individual questions are going to resonate with loads of people out there i find you know, when these, you know, these clips go onto YouTube, the people that send, they listen to the clip and the questions they ask or they sort of say, that person said something that really resonated with me. So by talking, 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 talking about your thoughts, your feelings, very important. And yes, there's a vulnerability in that as well. But if you don't do it right now, how are we going to help the planet? How are we going to help the rest of humanity? bodies hold on to words feelings emotions everything carries that frequency and you're right if you've been bombarded thinking god what am i going to do 
you know, I, did, I could do it this way, I could go that way in your career or job or whatever it is, whatever it is for any of us, when we feel that there's a couple of options but not too sure and then it's like being the, you know, the fox in the headlights, it's like, oh, I don't know, I'm just going to stay here because, um, but that's good in a way, you just stay there, just breathe into it, just be in that pause, just be in that pause and when they're talking about self-care, it's about knowing yourself better, know thyself, they said, know thyself. The more that you know yourself of what feels right, what doesn't feel right, feel into the energy. There is, they just sort of said, sometimes you could just write those ideas or uh, just even one word down on a piece of paper and just tune in to that individual thing. So whatever direction you're thinking of, loads of things that you could do, write them down on a piece of paper and feel into that energy and see how it feels. That's another way of like, oh, yeah, that doesn't feel right or think right or whatever it is that however you communicate with yourself and that's the thing this is what this moment's about it's like how do you communicate with yourself that's what you've got to look at you know i was talking about the pendulum last week sometimes it is the pendulum that we use and we can hover a pendulum over i've got my pendulum here you know you can hover a pendulum over the words like some ideas and see what your pendulum does or you could just sit there with your hand over hovering over it and just sense a sensation heat cold or whatever it is and it's a, it's a bit like it's uh, okay because they just sort of said it's a bit like hot cold it's that sort of sense so if you're not too sure and there's so much going on different directions you know i said this a uh, couple of weeks ago where i i'm looking for a house that didn't know exactly what area and you know i'll leave it to them because they know how i'm feeling and i was standing on the beach in one part of, you know i was standing in hove standing on the beach like mm, yeah and i was feeling this i was like yeah no this was yeah i can, I can feel it and i was like Oh, might be too busy. Then I moved to another area, Sean by I was like, yeah, no, I'm not feeling it. Then I moved to another area. It's about feeling into the energies of what is happening around us. But it's practice. It's like using that muscle that we have, the intuitive muscle, you know, working internally, what's going on inside of us. And I can think of they just said, as a baby, we're more in tune with that because as a baby, we have we haven't heard in the sense of we our, the way the muscle or the brain how it comes online is very different it's not taking in all that information it's very differently it's interpreting it's more interpreting the world at the senses what more working with the senses of energy fields around you as we grow up as a child when then then the programming sets in it's then you know you can't do this because of you're a naughty girl or a bad boy or whatever it is and it's then that's pushed upon us so it's like stripping that back now. It's like working, going through those layers and going back to what feels right for you. That's going to be very important right now. But thank you for sharing that because it's like that theme and as you just said, it sort of, it seems to have come out. It's given you more, um, like you can identify it more what's going on for you now. So thank you. Yeah.